guys, and I'll be sure to work with some Hey, it's the sports junkie Dan Berlin, and uh, I am joined now by uh, NHL great Daryl Sidney. Thanks so much for taking the time to talk to me today. And, well, we're here at a great event today because this is a chance uh, for NHL alumni to participate in a pro am hockey tournament, which is basically going to raise uh, proceeds for Alzheimer's research. How close is this cause to you? I mean, how, you've been a person who not only had a storied career but also has taken a lot of your time post-career to also give back to the community. What's what's it mean to you to give back? Well, uh, you know, as a professional athlete, you, know, you have lots of opportunity, and uh, but I feel with the opportunity, there's a responsibility. And you know, my wife died of colon cancer about seven or eight years ago, and I'm involved with the program there. And the most important thing is we can make a difference in people's lives. So this tournament, uh, you know, we're uh, kind of partners with the Alzheimer's group from Baycrest and. The people who come and participate, raise the funds, uh, gives them an opportunity to spend some time with their favorite player, the player they draft, spend two or three days uh, telling a few stories, but more importantly, uh, the cause uh, is, I think, our fifth year coming up, and they're expecting to raise two and a half million bucks. How important is it to you to get drafted in the top five? It doesn't matter, you know. As I'm getting a little older, the uh, drafts going uh, this, The draft stock plummets a little bit? A little bit, or they bring in these young bucks, and, uh, but uh, it's just fun to be a part of it. I just hope that I get drafted. Some guys don't get drafted. So. Hey, I'd like to see you get drafted. As long as I'm sure you get drafted ahead of Landy, I think you got oh, all the right uh, Well, a few years ago, they had Tiger here, and I was uh, concerned I wouldn't get drafted ahead of him, and I'd never hear the end of it, but I did. Well, good stuff. Let me ask you, just going back, you, you've taken, as you mentioned, a great responsibility uh, in, in terms of giving back. How much do you think, it's, in light of some of the recent news, do you think that today's athletes are doing what they need to do as role models in the community, or can they, and should they be doing more? No, I think uh, it comes down to the individual and uh, kind of what your, your time is and what your commitment is and what you want to do and whether you uh, enjoy doing it or not. But there's lots of players that uh, do a lot in the community. And there's a lot of organizations that have the staff in place to kind of coordinate and make it so that it's... Uh, it's there and it's it's easier for the player to, to show up and do his thing and get the exposure that they need, get the media out and uh, yeah, our team does a lot of that and we'll continue to do it. So my last question for you, I imagine you've got definitely two eyes on the hockey playoffs right now. Asking you for your prediction, who do you think is going to win the Stanley Cup and maybe your pick for the con Smythe if you have one? Well, I don't know. I mean, Pittsburgh obviously should be a, a favorite because they won it last year and uh, you know they've got some pretty good players there. San Jose, I mean, uh, a lot can happen if you can get through a series in a, you know, four or five games and get some rest, uh, it adds to the, uh, you know, the chances of uh, winning the next series because you're rested and you're healed, uh, so maybe San Jose, maybe Chicago might be a dark horse, they got some good young players and they're an exciting team to watch, and whoever has the hottest goalie is going to get into the finals. Daryl Sindler, what can I say? A great honor for the sports junkie. We'll talk to you again soon, I hope, man. Thank Back you for to the your time. Link. There you go. Thank, Thank you. Cheers, man. Thank you. Thanks.